Hey, I'm Jeff for Traveler Guitar, and today we're going to unbox the Traveler Acoustic AG105. All right, let's open the box and look at the AG105. Depending on where you bought your guitar, you may or may not ever see this triangle box. I'm gonna open this up, set it aside, and take the guitar out of the box. It's always exciting. So here it is, the AG105 in its gig bag. Every AG105 guitar comes with this gig bag. The first thing you'll notice is a really nice embroidered Traveler guitar logo. It's got two accessories pouches and a tote handle on the front here. Um, this top accessories pouch is actually deceptively big. It's big enough for a tuner, a metronome, some picks, pens, anything you want to carry in there. And the second pouch is actually pretty sizable too. I brought along my iPad so I can show you that if you want to put your iPad in this pouch, it fits nicely in there. All right. So let's see what else is in this pouch. Um, so we have a bag of goodies. I'll get to that in one second. Also inside this pouch um, is a nice mesh zipper pocket. You could put pens, picks, music, anything you want in there. And also these nice little elastic straps for holding pens or screwdrivers or, or tuning tools, anything you want. All right. So let's talk about what's in the bag. What do we have? Okay, the biggest piece here is a user manual. It's got a diagram of all the different parts of the guitar, um, care and maintenance, tuning instructions, and then on the back you've got warranty information. And then also in the bag is the actual warranty card. So you fill this out, uh, including the serial number of the guitar, and then you put a stamp on it, put your return address, you can mail this off to Traveler Guitar. Uh, you can also register your warranty online at travelerguitar.com. One more thing in this bag is a little bag with two hex wrenches in it. So I'm gonna set this aside and we'll talk about this in a minute. So let me move these things off. Okay, I'm gonna take the guitar out of its gig bag. So it's got two zippers, which is really nice. And then if you open up the gig bag, here is the AG105. Um, one last quick thing about the gig bag. In addition to these nice nylon reinforcements that, that keep the gig bag from wearing out against the metal parts of the guitar. Um, it also is equipped with really nice velour inside and 10 millimeter foam padding that will protect your guitar while you're carrying it around between gigs. So let's take this out of the bag. Here it is, the Traveler Guitar AG105 Acoustic Travel Guitar. Um, the first thing I want to point out about this guitar is this little leather hang strap at the end. This is a merchandising solution. We use this to hang the guitars in stores, and it's affixed with a black zip tie. If you don't want this leather strap hanging off the end of your guitar, please feel free to clip it. You just you take a little, a little clipper, and you put it right underneath that end right there, and you clip it off, discard the zip tie, and hang on to that leather strap for future use. But a lot of guys end up leaving it on there and that's how they hang the guitar from their guitar hanger. So it's totally optional, totally up to you. Okay, AG105. What makes this a unique guitar that bears mentioning is that even though it's a three quarter size body, it's a full scale guitar, which means the distance from nut to bridge is 25 and a half inches. That's the same scale length as your full size acoustic that you have at home. Um, and the way Traveler Guitar accomplishes that is with the proprietary streamlined tuning system. So I'm going to talk about the tuning system a little bit. So over here, uh, where you'd normally see nothing at the end of an acoustic guitar, you see a little tuning plate. This is the heart of the streamlined tuning system. And underneath this tuning system, I'm going to go ahead and detune one of the strings. Okay. There we go. It's really easy to turn. It's a very nice knurled tuning knob. And as you can see right there, the ball end of the string is sitting right in that little sled. So there's the ball end of the string hiding under that tuning plate. I'm gonna tune that back up real quick. See the ball end comes right out like that. And you just tune it right back in there. Okay. And then on the other end, on the, where the headstock would be on a normal uh, traditional acoustic, we have this end cap. Um, and this end cap secures 
the other end of the string to the neck. And it accomplishes this in two ways. The first way is with these string clamps. And they look kind of like what you see at the end of a, of a, um, a guitar that's got a Floyd Rose on it. They're very similar string clamps. And there's three of them, and they're fit with a hex wrench. And then on the end, I'm gonna turn the guitar this way for you. On the end, you can see there's six holes, one for each string. Inside those holes are threaded string lockers. So there's two different ways that the guitar strings are secured to the end of the headstock. And that is the heart of the proprietary streamline tuning design. Another cool thing about this guitar. So most acoustic guitar strings are mounted on the bridge right here, which puts a tremendous amount of string tension on the top. And in order to withstand that tension, um, guitar builders over the years have developed all sorts of different ways to brace the top of the guitar underneath um, so that uh, it withstands the tension but still has a good sound. Um, but no matter what you do, when you create bracing, you're adding mass to the top, which deadens the sound and makes for a lower volume and a different tonal quality. On the Traveler AG105, the strings are mounted to the tuning uh, hardware here, which is mounted to the end block of the guitar. So there's much, much less string tension on the top, which means we've been able to modify the traditional acoustic bracing pattern, and you get a much bigger volume than you'd expect out of another guitar this size. Okay, so let's talk about the traditional features of the Traveler guitar AG105. Um, the back and sides of the guitar and the neck are made of mahogany, which is a traditional acoustic guitar tone wood. The top is solid spruce. This is not a laminate top. Um, it's a solid spruce top. Um, and then inside, right here where the rosette is, that is a laser burned rosette. Very few guitars out there that have this beautiful, unique feature. The rosette is literally burned into the wood with the laser. Um, we have an ebonized rosewood fretboard and clay dot inlays. This guitar uses traditional acoustic guitar strings. I believe that these are D'Addario EJ15 strings. So that is the Traveler Guitar AG105 out of the box. Hey, I'm Jeff Garvin for Traveler Guitar. Thanks for watching.